Hey world, it's been when to come back to another video. Family, I just want to just enlighten my family in the garden. Um, because a lot of times we look at politics and then we think that, you know, just because it's a particular party, that it's going to be a different scenario, right? You know, we had Trump in office not too long ago saying all these things. Now you have Biden in office. And I tell you right now, it has to be a selection process. It cannot be an election process because why would anyone during this particular time, right, want to elect someone in office that's been running for president for 50 years damn near? You did? Biden has been running for president damn near since the 70s. This dude has a track record of not in Neptune. I mean, to me, the dude is really kind of, it's crazy, right? And so I was listening to his first speech. And it's like I said, he's been the president since January the 6th. And this is like March the 25th. And this is the first time he's given a speech to the, to the nation, right? I watched it, but I'm only going to address the cup, first couple of minutes of what he talks about because you don't have to watch an hour of someone speaking to know exactly what the objective is and what the narrative is. And how if you watch my video about misinformation versus information, you'll see what I'm talking about. What is this determination to have us all injected with a vaccine that doesn't cure coronavirus and doesn't prevent you from getting it. I, I can hear you. But what about the flu shot? People not getting the flu anymore? You did? And so I just want to uh, address a couple of things that Biden says at the beginning of his speech. And if you didn't get a chance to check it out, you know, it's all on the social media. Okay? But I want you guys to check out a couple of things, and I'm going to make a couple of comments as we listen to it. Where we stand 65 days into office here on vaccinations and a few other top priorities for the American people. First, on vaccinations. On December 8th, I indicated that I hope to get 100 million shots in people's arms. In my Think about that. He said he wanted to get 100 million shots in people's arms. Now, I don't know about you guys. But hearing that, that doesn't give me much encouragement that this pandemic is going to end. Getting shots in people's arms, that's, that's what his speechwriter wrote down for him to say? Hmm. Let's continue. First 100 days. We met that goal last week by day 58, 42 days ahead of schedule. Now today I'm setting the second goal, and that is we will, by my 100th day in office, have administered 200 million shots. By his 100th day in office, he want to have administered 200 million shots. Now, mind you, he's not saying whether or not these shots are going to be effective, because remember, we have some discrepancies with some of the shots that people are taking that are getting sick, and... If, we, if your objective as a president, your number one goal is to make sure in your first 100 days that 200 million people get shots in the arm, not to make sure that we get back to some type of normalcy, not to make sure that, you know, we, we do more research and more scientific, get receive more scientific data so that we can get back to normal and to understand that, okay, hey, this COVID-19 is like a flu. And with so many people being vaccinated, we can get back to some type of normalcy. If you vaccinated and still wearing masks, what's the point? You dig? And so your objective as president, your first 100 days is to make sure you have 200 million shots in people's arms. Let's continue. People's arms. That's right, 200 million shots in 100 days. You know, I know it's ambitious, twice our original goal, but no other country in the world has even come close, not even close to what we were doing. And I believe we can do it. And today, we made a historic investment in reaching the hardest hit, 
and the most vulnerable communities, the highest risk communities. Stop. The most hardest hit, the most vulnerable communities, right? What are you talking about? See, that's ambiguous. The most vulnerable communities, be more specific. Who are you referring to? And so this type of rhetoric, it just like it just goes over people's heads. I mean, what are you talking about? You want to make sure you have more shots in people's arms that are more vulnerable, that's in the most vulnerable communities. What does that mean? I digress. As a consequence of the virus, by investing an additional $10 billion and being able to reach them. I also set a goal before I uh, took office of getting the majority of schools in K through 8 fully open in the first 100 days. Excuse me. He wanted to get the majority of schools K through 8, okay, that's kindergarten through 8th grade, open, right? But you... Teachers, all teachers can't get vaccinated that wants to get vaccinated. And if that's the case, if you're trying to get all these shots in people's arms, why aren't you making sure that your third goal that you want that you set actually complements teachers? I Meaning you can get all, all teachers should be able to get vaccinated for free wherever right now. If your goal, your third goal is to make sure all schools are open K through eight. Hmm. Let's continue. Now, thanks to the enormous amount of work done by our administration, educators, parents, local state education officials and leaders, recent Department of Education survey shows that nearly half of the K through eight schools are open now full time, five days a week for in-person learning. Not yet a majority, but we're really close. And I believe in the 35 days left to go, we'll meet that goal as well. As of yesterday, <clears throat> more than 100 million payments of $1,400 have gone into people's bank accounts. Okay. He said more than 100 million people has been, have received this $1,400 payment. Dude, it's 330 million people in America. <laughs> You, you two thirds off. If you guys can shut down all of the people's millions of people electricity in Texas at one time, you trying to tell me guys, you can't just send that many checks off at one time. Come on, man. Let's continue. That's real money in people's pockets, bringing relief instantly almost. And millions more will be getting their money very soon. Bam. And I'm going to end on that note. Millions more will be getting their money very soon. Ambiguity. No specificity. You dig? And so it's like, this is ridiculous. So just to reiterate, the president that's in office right now, his first main three goals when he came into office to... One, have over 100 million people with shots in their arms. And then his first 100 days, he want 200 million people with shots in their arms. And want to make sure uh, schools are open, K through 8. Now, last I checked, we have 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. What about them? What about the high school? All right. Fan, I just want to come back with a little food for thought. I mean, because a lot of times we see these people on the television vision and you have to listen to what they're saying because they're not talking about nothing. And it doesn't matter whether you're a Democrat or Republican. It's one bird, two wings. You did? Pay yourself first. And in the meantime, between time, may the most high society bring you joy. And being what is out of 5,000.